Yes. Okay. Now, are you about leaving home now? I'll be in the office within the next 30 minutes. Okay, thank you. Darling! Darling! I'm set to go. Please don't dally me. If you want to go, you can go. Just make sure you come back to this house with the money you told me. Okay. I will try. But dear, why are you doing this to me? Huh? That is what you have been saying since last week. You will try, you will try. I hate hearing it. What is it? And you know that what I want to use that money for is just two days away. Huh? What? It's okay. Let's wait and see. Ah. <laughs> yes, sir. I bring my briefcase. Please take it to the car and uh, wait for me to open the gate. Okay, sir. This envelope to your husband when he returns from work. And um, 
It contains some money. Money? Um, yes, and um, this helped me to remind him that he should forward my file to his chairman for approval. He will understand that. Okay. But sir, why did you not take it to him in the office? No, no, no. It's not meant for his office. Okay. It's actually for him personally, you know, okay. to, to buy fuel into his car. <laughs> okay. And I could have dropped it in his office, but mm. my house is close to this place. Oh, I see. Thank okay. you, ma. I will deliver your message to you. Oh, I will appreciate it. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thank you so much, ma. You're welcome. All right. Thank you. Bye-bye. Okay, ma. Yeah. Martins was there this morning and he said that you gave him this money to fire your car. Mr. Martins? Yeah. Money? How much and why? Count it yourself. Though I've checked it, it's just 200,000. And he said you should help him uh, pass his file to your chairman for approval. And you collected it from him. What is bad in that? Is it a bad thing for a good wife to collect something? For her husband? Who says you are a good wife? Oh, I know. <laughs> anyway, Nadia, do you realize that this money you collected is a bribe? A bribe? Yes. No. This is blessing from God. After all, you are not the one that asked him to bring it. He brought it on his own volition. So... My dear, this money must be returned. I don't want it. I can't take bribe. Anyway, my dear, if you don't want this money, let me take it. After all, you have been promising me money since all these days. So let me use this. Huh? You are not serious. Somebody brought a whole sum of 200,000 that I should use it to fill my car. Am I starting a first station or what? Look, you have to find a way to return this money to him. I find it myself clear. I don't want the money. Now you savvy. I'm going to Jesus. Mr. Martins. Yes, sir. I said, why did you go to my house yesterday? When well, you know quite well that I'll be in this office. I am sorry, sir. I don't intend to get you offended. I just feel I should drop something for you in the house. So you went to drop something for me? Yes, sir. 
And that something is a whole sum of 200,000. To fuel my car, eh? I'm sorry, sir. How many cars do I have that I have to use 200,000 to fuel? I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry. Take. Ah. This is your 200,000. I'm, I'm I sorry. I don't have sir. to take bribe before I do my job. Take. I don't take bribe. I'm, I'm very sorry, sir. I'm very, very sorry, sir. And for your information, my chairman has already given his approval ah. that your company should handle the project. Ooh, thank you, sir. Ah, thank you, sir. So please. Don't try it down with me again. I, I'm sorry if you offended, sir. I don't intend to offend you. No? But, sir, you return this. This is highly surprising. What is surprising in this? Please, which church do you attend? Church? Yes. Please, don't bring religion into this. Do I have to attend a church before I know what is right to be done? Eh? Do I have to go to church right. to know what is good and what is right? Please, don't bring religion into this. I don't go to church, and I'm not interested in going to church. Thank you, sir. God bless you, sir. All right. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Ha! Ah, this man. He doesn't go to church, yet he returned bribe. And I am a deacon in my church. I fucked up. somewhere during lunch hour. Uh, there's no problem. I hope the place is not too far. Because you know we are still going to your house to celebrate your wife's birthday. Ah uh, sure now. Definitely we are gonna celebrate with her today. Uh, there will be laws to eat and laws to drink today. <laughs> that is very great. Uh, well I will call my wife to join us in your house too so that we can celebrate together. Oh, that would be very nice. In actual fact, it's the gift I want to present to her that I want us to go and buy. <laughs> gift? Yes. Mr. Ben, you and this your wife. Yes, well, sir. I believe the gift is worth following you. Until you see the gift. All right, in that case.
<laughs> what kind of man is this? Eh? Oh my God. Upon all my prayers and supplication to you over this man. For how long am I going to continue like this? And this man has the money. Yes, he has the money. Oh. Hmm. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you, Gladys. Happy birthday to you. Thank you. Happy birthday. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Thank you. How are you? I'm fine. Gladys, mm? this your face is somehow. <laughs> Rose, it's my husband. My husband? <laughs> what happened to you? Nothing. Shabby, you know today is my day. Yes. My birthday. But my husband refused to give me money. He said I should manage till he come back from work. <laughs> when did you become a manager or a manageress? What are you going to do now? What am I going to do? What can I do? Nothing. You only want to spoil it today for me. And God will not allow it. God will not allow it. If it's to, to get soft drinks and uh, uh, snacks, I'll get it. Mm. I'll get it. And this man has the money. At least he came home with a lot of money yesterday, which we counted together. It was about a million. Mm -hmm. Yes, and he took everything away in his briefcase this morning. Oh. So, you mean no party? Uh. Mm -hmm. I trust myself. Yeah. You know, if I try to report him to our pastor, he will only pray for me and calm me down. Pastor? She or a pastor and zombie? <laughs> hey, hey! This is not the issue of pastor. Or Emmy. <laughs> Gladys, you are M U M U. Mumulon Are you a fool or what? No. <laughs> hey, Gladys, why you no money? You will make this house too difficult for him until you have collected everything that belongs to you. Yes. I don't understand. Anyway, when you are ready to do your party, send for me. What? Are you going? I'm going. Me or I go play it. Oh, see, see you. Ah, hey. Rose, even you, you that supposed to stay with me. Ah, this is serious. Ben. Ben. Okay.
to buy? Yes, sir. Ah, oh, good. Thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, please help me call uh, Jude. Right. Uh, sir. Uh, hey. Jude, sir. Say so you know my house. Yes, sir. Uh, good. Uh, please, I want you to take this to my wife. Tell her I say she should manage it till I come back. Okay, sir. Huh? Yeah. Thank you. Uh, sir, can I go with Star Boss? Star Boss? Yes, sir. No. Go and take a bike. Good afternoon, ma. Oh, good afternoon. Yes, ma. Sorry, ma. I got to make a video this. Oga? Yes, ma. Yes, ma. So make a manager. Great. Yes, ma. Yes, Is that all? Yes, ma'am. I'm going to. Ah, no, no, don't do it. Hey, return it back to me. Thank you. It's not good. Mm. Mm. In bread. But God. What you said, whosoever put his trust in you will not be put to shame. But why does this happen to me? Today of all days. I back to you, sir. You mean my wife didn't collect it from you? Yes, sir. Maybe you didn't tell her I was the one who sent it. Sir, sir I tell her she just see my refund her back. Uh, call James for me. If I tell you I'm happy, you know, I'm not happy at all. At all. I told you to take it easy with this your husband. You never can tell what he's going to come out with. What else can he do, boy? What else that will discourage me? That will make me unhappy and sad? Eh? On a day like this, eh, boy? Anyway. Hey, mommy, what brings you so early? I have to come this early. You know you have programmed your own celebration for evening. Yes. And I will not be chance I will be going to church. Okay. So that's what. Anyway, thank you for coming. Thank God. Abu, I've brought this little gift for you. Oh. It's from me and my husband. I don't know she know. Oh my God. Ah. This is beautiful. 
Thank you, man. You, you know you deserve more than this. Uh. <laughs> but just take it from us. Thank you. And my prayer for you is that the Lord Almighty that kept you so far will continue to keep you. Amen. And you will witness more days in good Amen. health Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you very much, ma. Good afternoon, ma. Have good afternoon. Yes, ma. Mm. I'm from a gas office. Okay. Mm. I just have to give you this. That's you see. Has she managed it, Abby? Huh? Has she managed it? Okay. No, 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 don't go yet. Now, you go back and tell me that I am not a bread manager. Huh? And you will help me ask him if it is bread, it is made you to give to their wives as a birthday present. We are out! Nonsense. Ah! Yes, ma! We are taking. Go and put it to the refuse bin. Nonsense. of God. You're supposed not to talk in this manner, especially in the presence of the staff of your husband. How else do you want me to talk, sister? Eh, mommy, how else do you want me to talk? Eh, which message do you expect me to send to a man who is bent or spoiling my day? Anyway, he will come and meet me here. Abro, nonsense. But you did not even Bother to check what is inside. For what? It's bread now, and everybody knows that it's bread. So what? Abro, like I said before, take it easy with your husband. Please. Let me be on my way. I'm still going to my children's school to take it. Okay, she going? Oh, she? Read that for me. I will do that. Okay, ma. Ah! Where is this guy? Ah, ah. Sister Faith! <laughs> Sister Gladys, congrats! Yeah, thank you very much. Happy oh, birthday! Oh, thank you. This is my gift for you. <laughs> Let's go inside now. No, I won't be able to wait. Why? I have a program in my church and I need ah. to attend. Congrats. Yeah. Happy birthday to you. Amen. How old are you now? <laughs> A year older. A year older. God will prolong your life. Thank you. Okay, yeah. have a nice day. Are you too. Bye bye. Please greet your children. Okay, bye. Bye bye. Thank you. 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 Thank no trouble, me. No. Okay. Ah, I'm going to Eh? Today is your day. You better take it easy. I remember the warning of Pastor to all me last week. Don't worry. The ball is in my court. Eh? I know what to do. You need to take things easy. <sighs> Thank you. Thank you. Okay. 
Oh, you are welcome. How are you? Fine. Ah, thanks for coming. Yeah? How are you? I sent you a package. Do you like it? And where did you hide it? My oh dear, I'm talking to you. I'm with your dear. You this shameless man. Ah. Huh? Is it today of all that's supposed to behave like this to me? Huh? Anyway, it's not your fault. Take it easy now. Well, my dear, I'm sorry for coming a bit late. You know there are a lot of things I need to put in order in the office. And because of this celebration, you should understand. Understand what? It is easy. Understand what? You should be able to understand now. There's nothing I can understand. Eh? And by the way, is it a bread your mates used to give their wives as a pre as a birthday present? You just shameless man. Today you're going to kill me. You're going to kill me. You're going to, you're going to, you're going to kill me today. You're going to kill me. You this useless man. Stop it now. For nothing, man. What is happening here? Pastor, please, help me ask her. I just came in here, only to be... To be Stop it what? Stop it what? Shameless man! Ah. Gladys. Good for nothing man! Sister Gladys! Take it easy. What has come over you? I'm here and you still call your husband names? I'm totally disappointed in you. Pastor, please. Let me ask her what I've done wrong. Because I don't know what I've done wrong now. Okay. Um, what has he done? Pastor, this man's a useless man. He doesn't have woman feelings at all. Huh? If you have not answered my question, what has he done? Pastor, this man here is not a good man at all. What did he do? Sir, this man knows quite well that today is my 40th birthday. He has promised to do it in a big way for me. And since last week, he has been promising me that he will give me money to prepare something for my guests that, that, that are coming. But today, I asked him money this morning. He said he will give it to me when he comes back from, from work. He yeah. now send me bread. Bread for what? Is it bread that we used to entertain to, to, to entertain you and entertain my all, all my friends? Ah, Kojo, ah, you know. And where is the bread? All right. Me, I've already thrown it into the rabbit's bin. Eh? You did what? You had me. You threw the bread into the garbage. Yes, I did. Pastor, tell her to go and fetch the bread. Mister Gladys. Go and bring the bread. And go and bring the bread. <laughs> you threw the bread I sent into the refuse bin. <laughs> Hello, Felix. Ah. Know what? Um, tell the caterer to go back. Yes, let them go back with the food, the drinks, and the cake. Yes. No, uh, the party is called off. Uh, let them go back, please. Tell them. And uh, you and your wife too can go back. There is no need for you to come again. You mean? Oh, uh, uh, Robert, Robert, please, please, don't call off this party, please. Okay? Don't call off this party. Let's settle this matter amicably, please. Eh? We will resolve it. Pastor, I need to see the bread. <laughs> Pastor, this is the bread. Look at me. I need a useless bread to take to me.
Pastor, please, let me have that key. And that paper, please. Hold on, brother, please. Hold on. Sir Gladys, what is this that you have done to yourself? To my darling and affectionate wife on her 40th birthday, please go to the dealer now and collect the car with this key. <laughs> Pastor, please. Ah, please. Let me have the key. Please, oh, please, please, please. Pastor, please let me thank you. Please, I'm sorry. I will return the key and the documents. No, 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 I'll collect my money just back. Just Very simple. Let me have it. Please, please, please help me to beg you. Mr. Gladys. Sorry. Do you remember the revelation that the senior pastor shared with me? Mr. Gladys. Yes, sir. The revelation goes like this. It was at that point that I woke up and I started praying for you. Thank you very much, sir. You're but, sir, what am I going to do now? Hmm. What I can say is that you should be careful, prayerful, and watchful so that you will not be discouraged and misbehave at the threshold of your breakthrough. In Jesus' name. Amen. Sir. So that the enemy will not substitute your peace and joy mm. for sadness and sorrow. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Because people are very discouraged and unhappy at the threshold of their name. It always resolve in sadness and sorrow. Mm. I pray that will not be your portion. Amen. Thank you and God bless you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. The church you said you are attending, we can't see any changes in you. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Can you imagine this? This is how you go about destroying the name of the Lord. Ah. Your attitude. <laughs> are you promising me that you will change? Tell you who for us is a very nice one. A very nice one, so I'm sure you enjoy it. Um, please, you mustn't allow my wife to know about this. I want to make this trip a surprise for her. Huh? Um, when will the tickets be ready? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Shall I bring it to your office or should I send it to your email? Send to my mailbox. So how much is your balance? Twenty thousand. Twenty thousand. I said it! 
useless man. Useless man, good for nothing man. So you have a go to give your girlfriend money outside. Eh? When you refuse to settle your home. But you can give your girlfriend money. Abby, it's not your fault. You this will serve you right. No, this is madam now. This will serve you right. When next I see you with my husband, I will beat you with acid. Nonsense. Take it easy. I'm not here for you. Now I'm for you too. Oh, the Rebolebe. Oh, the Bosheri. I want you to run. Juliet, please. I'm sorry. Shut your mouth. Let's go. I shall watch. Oh, the one. You can shut your ear. Pastor, I'm sorry. My mind is made up. I'm no longer interested in coming to that church. And as for the trip, it's cancelled already. It will be suicidal for me to still go on holiday with someone like her. Can you imagine? She beats that young lady and even threatened her that she will pour acid on her if she sees her with me again. Can you imagine that? Um, Robin, please, I will still implore you to. Find a place in your heart to forgive her, please. Pastor, forgiving her is not a problem. But the trip is cancelled already. I've told the lady to cancel the tickets. And, Pastor, this is not the first time she will be doing something like this. A few weeks ago, when she was checking my phone contacts and messages, a call came in. She picked the call and even shouted on the caller. Unfortunately for her, it was the wife of my chairman that called from the US. She actually wanted to speak with her to know the size of her shoes because she intended buying a pair of shoes for her. She even deleted the number so that I won't be able to call the person back. Can you imagine that? All right, Robin. Uh, all the same, I still want to ask that you give me some little more time to talk with her. Let's see what God will help me to do. Hmm? Okay. Let me see how God will help me to talk to her, please. No problem. Thank you, Pastor. My regards to your family. She has promised to change, and I know by the grace of God, she will change. Robin, please take the key and give it to her. Pastor, I'm doing this because of you. You're doing it because of God. You know I love you, <laughs> and I will always love you. That is what we're doing.
Mm. Life itself is a test. And the test come in various ways and in various forms. And if one is not careful, the devil can make one to be discouraged and to be downcast so that you will lose trust in God and faith in the Lord. It was this same strategy that the devil used for David and his men. In 1 Samuel chapter 30, verse number 1 to 6, David was not around, and the Amalekites came, and they burned Siklag with fire, and carried their wives, and their children away, and all their properties. When David and his men arrived, the Bible said they wept, and wept, and wept, until they had no more power to weep. And they were so discouraged, and sad, and sorrowful. But the Bible also says that David encouraged himself in the Lord his God. And when he was encouraged, the Lord asked him to pursue. And he pursued his enemies and caught up with them and plundered them and recovered all that the enemy has taken away from him. That's why I'm praying for you, my brethren, that you'll be encouraged and you can pursue your enemy. That we should not be discouraged. I pray for you, my hearers. I pray for you, everybody. That you will not misbehave at the midnight of your miracles. That you will not be discouraged. So that your joy and your peace will not turn to sadness and sorrow. In the name of Jesus. The Lord bless you.